Good morning, my name is Marquise Nichols and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, Rose for Emily by William Faulkner. First we start off by telling you a little bit about Emily's background. Emily came from a and somewhat wealthy family. Uh, being uh, a well-known family in the town, uh, people um, thought that they, you know, thought very highly of themselves, you know, a real uh, arrogant family. Emily was close to her overbearing father, um, who was very overprotective of her. Her father died in her late adulthood, which was uh, very hard for her. Uh, this event itself uh, started to um, make Emily uh, a very a very quiet person, a very uh, a type of, the type of person that just stayed to herself. She didn't have any friends or many family members. Uh, Emily Grissom died at the age of 74. Emily's lifestyle. Emily was a homebody. Uh, she was single for most of her adult life. Uh, the people in her community watched her closely. Emily may have been uh, somewhat mentally unstable. Uh, this was probably due to the fact that she lost her father. Like I said earlier, she, this made her quiet and very mysterious. Emily's love life. Emily took interest in a man by the name of Homer Barron. Uh, Homer Barron was a northerner, a contractor, which the town hired to uh, come and, you know, do contract work in the town as far as, you know, paving sidewalk, sidewalks and things of that nature. Um, he was said to be a homosexual. When seen in public with this man, her community pitied her. Um, she was seen with this man motion on uh, every Sunday afternoon. He used to uh, take her for a ride um, in his buggy. She led people to believe she planned to marry Homer. Murder she wrote. Emily purchased arsenic uh, from a drugstore. Uh, arsenic is a uh, type of poison. After being seen entering her house um, on, on one evening, Homer Barron was never seen again. And many people thought that she purchased this um, arsenic for herself. A loud smell emerged from Emily's home. This, this smell uh, disrupted the town people and caused them to complain and the judge uh, ordered, uh, the mayor, I'm sorry, uh, ordered um, a group of people to come out and uh, sprinkle lime around the home. Emily uh, closed off the top portion of her house. Emily's death. Many people from her community attended her funeral. Like I said before, uh, she had mainly no friends and only reason why these people may have attended her funeral was just to see what was going on with her since no one could ever talk to her. Uh, the upstairs of her house had been revealed after 40 years um, due to the fact that once, once they laid her body down to rest uh, people knew that they can finally go in and see what has, what has been going on in the Grissom's um, home. In the room upstairs that was closed off, only thing that was found was the wedding attire and the body of Homer Baron. Uh, along with the wedding attire uh, was the was the initials um, H B in the toilet seat. Alongside of Homer, a strand of Emily's gray hair and an indention of her head was found on the pillow. Knowing that uh, Emily had been laying next to him, and that's pretty much you know a brief summary of of this story. Uh, I rose for Emily.
Thank you for your time.